Hello and welcome to another video of FallenUp.net. Now, it's been a while, uh, and so the last video I made was about PinePhone software progress, and that was on July 30th, uh, 2021, and now it's 2022 and it's January 30th, so it's truly been a while. But yeah, I uh, was occupied by different things, and yeah. As you may be able to spot, things improved further. Also, the long announced Pine Phone keyboard thingy is now a thing. Um, I don't really have too many opinions on it. This is uh, running the latest build of SXMO, uh, and it's fine with that, but. I, I'm still not sure whether this keyboard is fully for me, but because it's it's quite bulky and software isn't fully there yet. Um, at least now I think um, people that have been making fun of the Librem 5 for being so bulky that our PinePhone keyboard users may be consider making fun of the bulky phone here. But yeah, whatever. Uh, that's not what this video was or is supposed to be about. It's about something else I received just a few days ago on Friday and today's Sunday. And that is this thing that I now unbox for the first time, the Pine Phone Pro Explorer Edition. Now, the Pine Phone Pro was announced in, oh gosh, sometime in autumn, uh, was it November or October, something like that. Now, when I made my last video in July, I already uh, sort of knew about it, but of course wasn't allowed to tell anyone. And some people have called it the Linux phone flagship and nonsense like that. I don't think it really is that. Uh, it's just a more powerful Pine phone with some other welcome changes. But let's see what's in the box first. So this is the Explorer edition, which is the second edition of this phone, the first of our developer units, um, for which you have to register as a developer with Pine64. And then they made this here available to everybody, although it's still in a pretty early state, like power management and stuff, not really working well yet from what I've heard. So it comes with a little manual. Um, okay, yeah, I don't know. I think it's wise to read this, but nobody does. Um, but yeah, I think this is my third pine phone, so I don't need really need to read it. What's a nice touch is that it comes with a glass screen protection now, which wasn't included with the regular pine phone. Um, and then there's a cable, one of those nice pine USB cables. USB A to C. Uh, so that's my third one. SIM adapter. Nothing more in here. SIM uh, from, oh gosh, uh, Nano to, to Micro, I think. SIM, because, well, everybody usually out there is using uh, Nano SIMs right now, but, and has been for a while. But the Pine Phone is still using MicroSIM. And this hasn't changed for the Pine Phone Pro, which I honestly regard as unfortunate. So the back cover has a different finish. It's less glossy. It feels a bit more premium. There's more um, thermal stuff here to make things work well. And then um, this is the battery. Looks pretty much like the old one. Uh, if anything, this 
font is a little bit more ugly, so it looks like it's a sheep fake, maybe. But of course it isn't. This is the real deal. This is the proper pine fern. So, yeah, what else do we got here? Have you got here? Um, so here's the kill switches, right? A modem, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, microphone, rear camera, front camera, and headphone. Now the headphone kill switch is to uh, switch the port to debugging so that you can... Okay, so my phone just stopped recording. Sorry for that, so I'll continue again. So I was through with showing everything, almost everything on here. So these are the pogo pins to connect the keyboard and the other accessories. This is, I think, a reset button. And now let's put the back cover, which feels nicer, I gotta say that again, on this uh, slightly thicker, it's barely noticeable, uh, Pine Phone Pro, and turn it on. I already removed the top layer of this protective thingy and I wasn't gentle enough, so yeah, sorry for that. So it should be booting and we should be seeing that first one visit again. Okay, good. Great, that works. Um, so I'm in Europe. And here are a bunch of Wi-Fi networks. So let's skip this. Uh, for now, I will connect to Wi-Fi later. And yeah, full name. Oh God, I. I have to say, I really dislike the f haptic feedback. It's way too strong here. So I will, of course, change this later. Wink, wink. And now setup is complete. And Plasma Mobile should start. That is Manjaro plus my mobile. Okay. So here we are. Again, this screen doesn't have haptic feedback. And I remove this stuff here. And let's maybe go back into that manual. Okay, it's Spanish, don't understand that. Well, that's German, I would understand that, but it's not something everybody understands, right? And this video is in English, so let me turn up the brightness here a bit so that it's better visible. Okay, so pre-installed a bunch of applications. This already feels quite a Tad smoother than it ever did on the normal Orvina A64 Pine phone. Um, this Rockchip RK3399S is supposed to be a bit faster, and that shows. First thing I'm going to change is this said thing in the virtual keyboard because it's really nuts. And I will try to connect to Wi Fi again. And then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I created another demo network and let me try to use this now. Let's hope this works. Yeah, that worked seamlessly, so. And now Discover is saying it has got updates, so let's try that. Because Okay, so uh, 
I uh, gave up. So it's plugged into a Raspberry Pi 4 charger now. And I gave up on this cover because it's just taking forever. And I think it's suffering from the same problem here. So let me try to resolve this now and try to upgrade it manually. You know, it has to download the keyring at first. Okay, now it's upgrading the full system. Now, while it's doing all that, it's getting a bit warm, but Considering that it's charging and performing tasks that do actually stress the system, that's in the okay territory, I think. Okay, good. Now I think it's time to reboot. So here we are again. Um, I updated this phone successfully and yeah, I think it's pretty nice uh, overall. It's certainly an improvement in speed over the uh, original Pine phone, um, but it still has uh, some, some time to go. Um, it's going to need some more work overall and specifically around um, charging power management and so on to be a viable option. Um, just to point this out, the cameras don't work yet, both of them, because um, this is also it. In the first announcement of the Pine Phone Pro, this was supposed to be, the front camera was supposed to be the back camera of the original Pine Phone. It's a different one now. I'm not sure whether it has a driver. Um, the back camera is uh, 12 or 13 megapixels. It has a driver, but it hasn't, yeah, people haven't managed to get this working already. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's going to take some time. And once they are so far, then uh, yeah, this is this is going to be pretty nice, I think. Um, but that might take half a year or even a year. So if you just want to use this as a phone or even as a handheld internet communicator, because phone calls can be a totally different can of worms, um, then uh, yeah, you've got to wait. And until then, you can read my weekly updates um, on my blog. Or if you care about the software ecosystem, you can check out this, this app list, um, which actually loads okay on the PinePhone Pro compared to the original PinePhone because this is a huge bunch of JavaScript and yeah, it's taking a while, but here we are. Currently lists uh, a lot of apps, uh, total currently 334 projects and there's more waiting to be added. Um, I would really appreciate your help with um, maintaining this app list and putting it into a brighter future because realistically I won't have m as much time this year as I had last year and in the second half of last year I made no videos so yeah things are bad and help is duly appreciated. Also if you want to uh, see faster hardware enablement of the Pine Phone Pro or better software development for the Pine Phone, consider being kind to people and maybe giving them a few, a few cents if you can. So plenty of developers have Patreons, buy me a coffee, GitHub sponsorships, whatever. Um, yeah, try keeping them happy. That's this. Um, 
Thank you for watching and see you sometime, hopefully soon.